Brief History of Organic Chemistry The history of organic chemistry can be traced back to ancient times when medicine men extracted chemicals from plants and animals to treat members of their tribes. They didn't label their work as organic chemistry. They simply kept records of the useful properties and uses of things like willow bark which was used as a painkiller. It is now known that willow bark contains acetylacylic acid, the ingredient in aspirin. Chewing on the bark extracted the aspirin. Their knowledge formed the basis of modern pharmacology which has a strong dependence on knowledge of organic chemistry. Organic chemistry was first defined as a branch of modern science in the early 1800s by John Jacob Berzelius. He classified chemical compounds into two main groups, organic if they originated in living or once living matter, and inorganic if they came from mineral or non-living matter. Like most chemists of his era, Berzelius believed in vitalism. The idea that organic compounds could only originate from living organisms through the action of some vital force. It was a student of Berzelius who made the discovery that would result in the abandonment of vitalism as a scientific theory. In 1828, Friedrich Wuller discovered that urea, an organic compound, could be made by heating ammonium cyanate, an inorganic compound. Wooler mixed silver cyanate and ammonium chloride to produce solid silver chloride and aqueous ammonium cyanate. This is the chemical reaction of silver cyanate and ammonium chloride that will result to silver chloride and ammonium cyanate. He then separated the mixture by filtration and tried to purify the aqueous ammonium cyanate by evaporating the water. To his surprise, the solid left over after the evaporation of the water was not ammonium cyanate. It was a substance with the properties of urea. Wooler's observation marked the first time an organic compound had been synthesized from an inorganic source. A turning point in science history. Wooler's discovery was a turning point in science history for two reasons. First, it undermined the idea of vitalism because an organic compound was produced from an inorganic one. However, it is also represented the discovery of isomerism, the possibility of two or more different structures, ammonium cyanate crystals and urea crystals, based on the same chemical formula. Chemists started searching for reasons to explain isomerism that in turn led to theories about the structure of chemical compounds. By the 1860s, chemists like August Kekule were proposing theories on the relationship between a compound's chemical formula and the physical distribution of its atoms. By the 1900s, chemists were trying to determine the nature of chemical bonding by developing models for electron distribution. During all of this time, the number of known organic compounds was increasing rapidly year by year. During the 20th century, organic chemistry branched into subdisciplines such as polymer chemistry, pharmacology, bioengineering, petrochemistry, and numerous others. During that century, millions of new substances were discovered or synthesized. Today, over 98% of all known compounds are organic. Today, organic compounds are key components of plastics, soaps, perfumes, sweeteners, fabrics, pharmaceuticals, and many other substances that we use every day. The value to us of organic compounds ensures that organic chemistry is an important discipline within the general field of chemistry.